Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make a ping pong palette. To do that, start with N screencast keys, so you can see what I'm doing. And we start by adding, one moment, start by adding mesh circle, where we're going to say as vertex 30. Okay, we're going to position it in axis zero, zero, zero. We're going to edit mode. Okay, what we're going to do first is we count one through three. The fourth point, that point, going to select the same on the other side. One, two, three, four. Going to click on it and press F. So we draw a line between those. We press A. Before we do that, we switch to uh, edge selection. Press A. And we're going to use the shift button and right click to deselect these. Press F. Going to select that one. Hold down, hold down the shift and the alt button and select that. Hold down the shift button and right click on that one and press F. So we have our basic shape. Now, what we're going to do is we press A twice, we selected that everything, and we're going to extrude in the Z direction. And this will be our basic shape. Okay, see, this is the thickness of the palette itself. Then we go to face selection, we're going to select that one, and we're going to press A, extrude, and we're going to extrude something like this. We're going to extrude again. I'm going to enlarge it to looking like this. We're going to extract it in Y direction, so S Y. And we're going to make that one larger, looking like this. Now we have our basic shape, and we're going to give it a color. And we're going to say this is brown. Select the color, looking like this. Okay, and now we're going to add the, the palette shape. And to do that, we're going to face selection, select that face, extrude it, lift it up a little bit, not that much, like this. Zoom in, hold down the shift and the alt button, right click on that one, and we're going to add another color which is in my case red mm -hmm. select over here the red color same thing density maximum oh, sorry forgotten a few things switch off shadow and move up let's say a sign click on that one and switch off of course also the same now, the opposite side, right click on that one, extrude the same depth, like this, hold down the shift all button, right click on that one, and we're going to add an extra color, extra, and this is the, the blue side, sorry, the blue side, we're going to give that one that color. And we're also going to say assign. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make that a little round. So, I'm going to edge selection, right click on that edge, hold down the shift button, right click on that edge, press uh, Control B, and move it side like this. Rotate with your middle mouse key. Until you got something looking like that. Now you have your basic shape. It looks okay, I think. All right. Now uh, I need to change the handle a little bit, and to do that, we go first. Uh, what we're going to do first is okay. 
we're going to select face selection tool we're going to select that face shift d left mouse click and press p which we're going to separate that area now switch back to object mode select the other face okay and now we're going to make the handle to do that we're going to extrude in z direction oh, sorry go back to edit mode of course that's why you can cannot extrude select the face extrude like this okay switch back to edge selection bring that one down because it's always a little conically and use the face selection tool going to extrude it we're going to extrude it until here now what we're going to do next is we're going to separate that face into in two different faces so we're going to subdivide it into we're going to use the edge selection tool for that we're going to select that edge hold down the shift button and select that edge bring it down until you got something minimum select that edge hold down the shift button select that edge and use the control b and we're going to make ah sorry forgot something don't do that sorry select that edge hold down the shift button select that edge and bring that one down backwards looking like this and now select that one hold down the shift button that, that one and use the control b command and now you can make it nice and round looking like this okay now what we're going to do is we're going to make that one round also so we're going to select that edge shift that edge shift that edge shift that edge and shift that edge and we're going to make that one round also so control b move it like that roll it until you got four or five okay and you've got a nice one but i want that this is not nice it should be lower so to do that we switch over here select that edge bring it down a little bit hold down the shift button bring that edge a little down to it shift down shift and down and so i made mine a little variable see and i want that also a little more to the center that also what to the center a little bit you can do it by pressing s also so i'm going to go back again bring that one in hold down the shift button bring that one in and now we're going to select both of them and we're going to press s y you can do the same you see you can do the same but go not that fast otherwise you get in trouble select both of them hold down the shift button select that one press s y and make it a little more looking like this okay now we're going to give that one another color therefore we're going to switch over here and we're going to add an extra color which in my case will be uh, darker you can give it whatever color you like let's say dark brown okay brown dark we're going to switch off these because press minus of course and then it switches and and we've got our basic shape now we want to copy that one and we put it underneath so we do that to do that we press shift d and we're going to rotate it in y direction uh, in x direction look at uh, the axis on the left side underneath r x 180 
the left mouse click. Now we're going to position it correctly, as good as we can, like this. Now I think it's approximately ready. The only thing that necessarily need to be done is join them together. To do that, we've selected underneath, hold down the shift button, right click on that one, right click on that one, and say Control G, and we join them together. You see. Now we need to smooth them, smoothen everything, and we going over here where we going to say edges. See, go back again. Probably you didn't see. Go back. Modifier, modifier, edge split, and now they're smooth, but the edges are still correct. The only thing necessary to do is. Uh, bring it in front of the camera and that will, therefore we're going to select the camera lock camera to view press zero and i'm going to position it one well, will rotate probably too much okay go back one more two more looking like this so i can see the black and and a little bit of the black and a little bit of or what we can do is we're going to copy probably better we're going to copy shift d to do that sorry not in that case select that item of course shift d move it aside and let's rotate it rotate in x 180 degrees and let's turn it or z 180 and now we've got two of them and now we see both of the and we're going to we go back lock camera to view zero and we're going to position them okay like this good um cursor on the screen zero on the num key path lights oh sorry for, uh, copy two of them switch delete I'm going to go back cursor on the screen is zero okay that's still good and now the lamp where is the lamp over there bring it back up and more to the center shift D one on the opposite side Okay, move it up a little bit. Move it up a little bit, and I'm going to bring in a third one to light it a little bit from underneath. And I'm going to position that one somewhere over there. Okay, the only thing necessary could be that if you want a background, you can give it a background. Otherwise, just render. Pay attention that your output is in the correct format in my case it's a jpeg file and we render it and there you have it your ping pong palette thank you for watching and if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel bye